Hey y'all, welcome back to Summer Talk Tarot. If you're new to the channel, my name is Summer and this here is a general reading for the sign of Libra for November, <laughs> November 2021. All right, but let's go ahead and get into it. Let's see what's going on here with the Libra. Okay, so the first cards we have coming out here, we have, okay, we have the Five of Cups, the Ten of Cups, and the Ten of Swords. So there could be, you could be, some of you could be experiencing maybe some disruption when it comes to like your family life, your home life, um, relationships in general, there could have, could have been like a, a ending or some kind of uproar or something. Let's see what's going on here. One more card. All right. Mm. For some of you, you could also be like kind of doubting yourself doubting a dream that you have that you're wanting to pursue here some kind of vision that you see for yourself for your life um and you could even have like you could be feeling like you don't have anyone to lean on or who supports maybe your dreams your goals um the life that you see for yourself and you could be feeling a bit alone feeling like you have to go at it alone mm. And because of this, right, you may be doubting yourself, doubting and questioning whether or not you should go through with whatever it is that you want to do. Bottom of the deck here, we have the four of swords. Okay. Yeah, so it's important here. It's important here that you really kind of spend some time with yourself, really connecting with yourself, but also with the divine right because if you're doubting yourself it's important that i feel like you kind of spend time like in prayer and meditation um talking to the divine talking to god um any kind of fears any doubts any questions that you have right that you feel maybe you can't go to someone else with go to the divine okay But some you could also be feeling like you're not seeing growth or um yeah growth as quickly as you would have hoped in maybe one particular area of your life or just in all areas of your life. Um but let me take a look at the cards real fast. Mm -hmm. For some of you here, even like you could be like feeling a push to kind of um, settle down to to get in a relationship. But I kind of feel like it's not it's not it. Mm, let me get my words together. It's I feel like it's both a push from within, but also a push from like what you're seeing outside of yourself. So like you could be seeing a lot of people in relationships and you're like, well, when is my boo thing will come around? Right. But I feel like it's important, right? Because at this time or at this stage in your life, it's important for you to kind of really deepen. I feel your connection with yourself, with the divine, right? You could be feeling kind of driven to explore more of your spiritual side um could be even wanting to travel um and it's just important for you here to really focus on i feel kind of cultivating a deeper connection with yourself and with the divine right that's kind of what the main thing that i'm seeing off jump but also make sure that you're not kind of rushing into anything or moving out of fear Make sure that you're moving from a space of love here. That you're aware of your emotions. But that you're not allowing them to kind of cloud your judgment. Okay. I'm sorry if you can hear. Um, anything in the background? <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, for some of you, you could even be wanting, like, okay. There could be a, a romantic relationship on your mind currently that you may be thinking about going back to. But, like, the message here is, like, to continue to move forward. Because I feel like, right, for those of y'all who are resonating with that, um, this relationship that ended probably wasn't for the best. Well, it wasn't the best for you. This person wasn't the best for you. They may have made you doubt yourself or question yourself, feel bad about yourself in some way. Um, and I feel like currently you may actually be coming to a space where you're kind of feeling um, a deep, a deeper connection to yourself, to the divine, feeling more peace in your life. But you could also be feeling like something is missing. And that feeling may be kind of pushing you to kind of look back on your past, on past relationships, past experiences, maybe wanting to go back and to fix or change things. And it's like, it's just important that you kind of realize anything that has transpired was, you know, it happened for a reason. It happened to kind of get you to where you are and that things are good. Things are good and they're going to continue to improve and to get better. Um, but you can't kind of like hold on to any kind of... Um, anything from the past right i feel like yeah it's like it's about kind of like releasing letting go kind of be becoming more free within yourself within your mind within your heart and allowing any emotions to kind of come up but to kind of continue to move forward to gain the wisdom and the insight from those past situations but to not allow like your mind to kind of continue to try and want to kind of fix things or to replay things over and over but to kind of find peace and forgiveness within yourself and within your heart so that you can move forward okay but let's go ahead and clarify i want to clarify the devil we got the devil here let's see right because you may be like really um for some of you like your dreams you could be like really worried about money how you're going to um how how to basically make money doing the thing that you love basically and you could like you may be feeling like you're not seeing things happening as you want them to or as quickly yeah basically it's like okay look bottom of the deck here we have the five of wands right you could be like feeling like okay um maybe there's a lot of people doing what you're doing or doing what you want to do like the market could be oversaturated whatever it is um but it's like the message here is basically like if this is something that you're wanted, wanting to do that's just a part of that's just a part of it right you're just going to have to deal with the fact that hey other people do what you do you know <laughs> but the thing is other people do what you do and they make money right hey for real let's be honest here they make money doing it and so can you um but it's just about like making the decision to continue to do it to continue to grow to continue to improve your craft to continue to learn to continue to cultivate you know confidence within yourself and within what it is that you're doing um and not being afraid to kind of put yourself out there to to continue to um follow that dream right don't follow the money follow the dream basically and as you continue to follow the dream money will come right it's going to take time but you're going to have to kind of put your doubts to the side and focus on what's within your control okay and to make sure that you're you know continue to to be to practice faith basically faith in yourself faith in the divine faith in the vision that you see for yourself right even when things are a little bit murky when you can't really see the other side you know you're like oh i don't know what's gonna happen and this could go wrong and this could go wrong and it's imp it's important to not focus on what could go wrong but to kind of focus on what could go right right because here it's like your mind right we have emotions here but also your mind you're going to have to learn how to to focus your mind here basically right because you're a libra right your air sign your mind where your what hold up 
What's the saying? I don't know. But what I'm going to say is where your mind goes is where your energy goes. So it's like if you're manifesting, if you're working your magic, basically, right? You all know how important your energy is. So if you're focusing your mind on all the things that can go wrong, that's basically where you're channeling your energy to all the things that could go wrong. So instead of focusing on that, focus your mind on what could go right. Focus on what it is that's in your control, how you can make things work out for your benefit rather than oh this could go wrong and this isn't going right focus on what's working and see how you can grow that okay but let's clarify the moon here oh wow okay <laughs> So we have the three of swords in reverse, queen of cups in reverse, and the ten of cups. Hmm. The song that's come to my mind is Don't Stop Believing. Don't Stop Believing. Yeah, like hold on to that feeling, man. Hold on to the feeling, right? It's about, yeah, especially with all these emotions here, it's like it's important not only to control your mind but to control i hate to say control but to be aware of your emotions so that you can kind of allow them to flow through you and then to kind of direct them towards what you want right it's kind of like important that i feel like practice practice like feeling the feelings that you want to feel you know so if you have a dream if you have a vision kind of spend time each day sitting with that dream visualizing it and feeling what it feels like to to be where it is that you want to be to to be doing the things that you want to do and then get up and do it you know what i'm saying so meditation yoga all these things can be beneficial for you in the month of november right you could right like i was saying at the beginning you could be feeling maybe distant from family from friends you could be feeling like people don't understand you um and i feel like you know it'd be good to kind of wow to express that right to someone yeah i've got the king of swords showing up all right and if you feel like you can't do that right it could be good to journal Maybe go to therapy, uh, draw, write, you know what I'm saying? Kind of get those emotions out. Get those things that are clogging up your mind and your heart out of you so that you can move forward without them kind of bogging you down. Okay? Right? Spending time by the water would be good with animals. Um, yeah. Yeah. And it, I feel like you could be, you could be maybe wanting a sign really bad, but I feel like you're getting signs. Um, but you have so many things on your mind and in your heart that you're having a hard time of seeing them or really understanding them. So make sure that you're kind of, you know, making time each day to meditate, to, to journal, to, you know, kind of move your body so that you can allow those emotions and those thoughts to kind of filter through you so that they're not clogging up you know your channel for the divine you feel what i'm saying okay but let's go ahead woo, and close this out with um some advice with the oracle cards okay now that song's stuck in my head don't stop believe and come on libra don't start believing hold on to that feeling oh yeah okay so we have here raindrops then we have evil queen you deserve sugar not salt and sword make the change oh raindrops says take a chance on them so it looks like here okay so you have people here be it actual people or like i was saying like your ancestors uh your spirit guides kind of showing up for you but you may be kind of closing yourself off because of um how other people have treated you or fear that you know they're going to treat you bad and it's time for you to kind of let go of that okay to kind of 
release all of those kind of trapped and pent up energies and feelings that you may still be holding on to or may still be lingering around um, to do with um, relationships and how people maybe have done you dirty in the past. Okay. And to trust that, you know, anything and anyone that's coming into your life right now, trust that you got good people coming to you and trust that you can discern who is and who isn't good for you because you can. Okay, you can. You know what's up. And trust that you know what's up. <laughs> I don't know why I came so hard with that. But hey, that's how I wanted to come out. Let's get one more card and then we're going to close this out. Okay. Let's see. Any further advice for Libra? Libra. Ooh. Wait. All right, there we go. So we have you are good enough. Come on, Libra. You are good enough. That also came out for um Taurus. If you have Taurus and any, I don't know. If you want to watch the Taurus one, go ahead. Okay. Then we have uh, luck is on your side. Yes. But this always made me think time is on my side. Yes, it is. Yes. That also came out for Taurus. A new a new start is coming. Okay. G listen. It's just important for you here to really focus on your inner world, spending more time kind of like cultivating a deep connection, which like I was saying earlier, cultivating a deep connection with yourself and with the divine, one that is based on love, one that kind of just is love, right? Focus on love here. Focus on healing. I feel your heart, your heart chakra. Focus on kind of um, speaking your truth. Um but also your root chakra here too. focus on like because you may be feeling unsafe or like scared here. So focus on your root chakra and your heart chakra. Right. Kind of stay out of your head here, Libra. OK. <laughs> oh, because that head of yours is a powerful place. All right now. Um, so in order to kind of get out of your head. You need to ground yourself, spend some time out in nature, spend some time, you know, moving your body. Um, being present in your body loving on your body okay um and that's going that's once you start doing that you're going to see to see how beneficial it is for you so make sure that you create like a um oh the words are not coming to my mind like a schedule for yourself basically right that you you know maybe work out every day uh, you walk every day. I don't know. You journal every day. Um, take your spiritual baths. That kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because those things they they add up and they help you to 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 feel more more good. Basically, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no. Oh, uh, but yeah. That's all I have for you, Libra. Hopefully, this helped you in some way. If it did, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. All right. Also, if you're interested in booking a personal reading, the link is in the description box below. All right. I truly appreciate you and I hope to see you soon. Peace out.